have been a huge fan of Applied Acoustic System software um, using Ultra Analog and many of their other instruments. Then after that, got into physical modeling, which was very interesting because there was no other plug-in company at the time that I was researching on the market that was focusing um, directly in that area, you know, modeling real instruments. Um, and chromophone was one of the first instruments that really, really drew my attention because you could make such a wide variety of different sounds. Um, you could make drum percussion sounds. You could make um, things that sounded very organic, like this, you know, like really organic snare drums, brush drums, um, cinematic huge drums to um, hi-hats to cymbal crashes to ceramic pot sounds um, to metal plates um, PVC pipe any sort of um, sort of organic material is one of the first plugins that I ever got my hands on that could create such an interesting palette of textures that um, made its way into many of my music compositions and when it went to version 2 uh, added even more um, complexity. We had, you know, the addition of the LFO arpeggiator uh, functionality and an effect section. Um, actually, really nice sounding effects. And now going to Chromophone 3, um, they've added the multi timbral capabilities of layering two instances of Chromophone uh, in one box. So now that allows me to do um, basically twice as many things as I was able to do before. Now I can layer a pad sound with some sort of arpeggiated lead on top. You can create lots of complexity with just a very few, um, very few controls in the environment. So that's always been a big plus for me. They've completely redesigned all of the knobs and controls and the uh, various pages have all been improved. Everything looks um, absolutely stunning. Um, it's one of the nicest plugins um, aesthetically to my eyes to work with. Everything there is right in front of you. There is at no point when you're editing or creating a sound do you not know what part you're working on. You can really make sounds really quickly um, and you're, you're spending more time creating and less time tinkering around. <laughs> So I've used Chromophone for a lot of different situations, um, not only just for music composition, uh, for sound design, um, but I've also used it quite a bit in my day job as a sound designer uh, at Google on the uh, virtual reality platform called Daydream. And I designed pretty much all of the in-system user interface sounds using Chromophone. Chromophone can model such beautifully warm, rounded, nice tones, especially uh, like emulation of like mallets and vibraphone type sounds. Physical modeling is a great approach to creating those sounds and it's very smooth. They have a very smooth sort of rounded uh, quality to them. So you can hear them really well, but they poke through the ambient air very nicely. And um, Chromophone became the main instrument in designing most of those sounds uh, for all of those Google products. 